evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. Guys, you cannot solve spiritual problems with natural solutions. Spiritual problems have got to be solved with spiritual solutions. That's why I said with the George Floyd, the whole thing. And by the way, I am, I hate racism. I don't know why that spirit just, I, I hate that spirit of racism. But we don't have a skin problem. People have a sin problem. We don't have a race problem. People have a grace problem. And the only way to solve these perplexities, and sorry to bring it into racism, forgive me please, but these things need to be touched on. I had a great pastor friend here in the region where I reside. Big church, 2,500 member church, biggest church on the island. All white, Caucasian. And the Lord spoke to him, and he said, I want to bring in the races. And what does heaven look like? Not all white, but great majority. And the Lord said, I want to bring in the races. What does heaven look like? Does someone in heaven have one color skin, same kind of... The Lord says, no, there's a multiplicity. That's why in the Tower of Babel, one language, one speech, God scattered them. God stopped them because it was undiverse. God's not... God's multifaceted like a diamond. He's diverse. He's not undiverse. The devil wants to clone people. That's a whole other message. So this man says, Lord, bring on the war. And then people from different start, different races started coming in, into the church. And a lot of the a lot of the white, they left the church. The white people, the Caucasian, they left. Not a lot of, not half of them, but a lot of people left. And that church is thriving. It's doing great. Praise the Lord. M many of the churches are half what they were anyway, uh, because of the point, the pandemic. You know, you know, yada yada, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, never, never charge the pastors too harshly, guys. It's not an easy gig. I have so many friends that are such great, honorable men and pastors. There are more great pastors than there are ones that aren't good. Just like there's more good construction workers, J just not some bad ones that'll come take you down payment, rip you off, you'll never see them again. Doesn't mean all construction workers are bad, just means that one or a few, and they won't flourish because you can't keep doing the wrong thing in life because the word will get out now, especially with social networks and stuff. Anyway, the solution was Jesus is Jesus and always will be revival, outpouring, awakening. And we've got to stop trying to solve natural problems uh, with, spiritual, with spiritual problems, with natural solutions. Because spiritual problems can only be solved with spiritual solutions. And we've got the solution to the problem. Come on, hallelujah. Me and you, all my friends out there that we met the last few years, the last year and a half, we, all my friends, we, we hang out with Monday nights, Thursday nights, all my friends in the comments, we've got the solution to the problem, and it's Jesus. So let's become the solution Thursday, May 26th, May 26th, 8 p.m. on Zoom, meet me for revival, for awakening, for outpouring. Meet me for the solution. I love you guys. The Lord bless you.